hello and welcome to today's video where I'll be showing you all the things that need doing on my 250 pound Volvo S40. Now the first thing that need doing was a full clean inside and out which I've done on a previous video but this one is going to show you a bit more about the maintenance tasks that need completing. Let's have a look now and check out what needs doing. So first we start under the bonnet and on the first car I did on this video I mentioned that the power steering went a little bit heavy. Now the power steering fluid is full so I would imagine that the power steering pump itself is going to need replacing. The second thing I found with this car, or rather my father-in-law noticed, is that it's dropping oil. Now on these cars it's 17 year old cars so I would imagine that the rocker cover gasket is going to need replacing. And whilst I'm replacing it, I may as well do the spark plugs as well. On this car, there is currently no reversing light. And just down there on the gearbox is the reverse light sensor, which I suspect is going to need replacing. So far, they're all quite easy fixes. Of course, I'm going to do a service on this car as well, so a complete oil change and the filters. But I was pleased to find out that the previous owner had not only the cam belt, AC pump and water pump replaced, but they've also had the clutch replaced in the last three years. So those are some of the big tasks that I won't need to worry about. So that's about it for under here. Let's close this up and have a look at some of the other jobs that need doing. So on the interior of the car, there's not too much to go wrong in here. There aren't a huge amount of features, but one of these lights is out. So I'm probably going to replace those with LEDs at the same time, along with the footwells, glove box, and so on. The second thing, which I've already done because it was very, very annoying, was replace the key. So I got one key with the car, changed the battery, still didn't work. I was getting in and out of the car with just a, a, a key prong in the door, hugely annoying. So. £140 later, I got a new key and I got it coded by my good friend Alex who helped me out with the Z4 roof motor not too long ago as well. Lights on the dash, there's one that says it needs a service which I'm going to be doing anyway and there's another one that says fill washer fluid although I have filled it up so I suspect that inside the container itself the sensor is perhaps a little mucky. Maybe I'll get it out and just clean that out. But overall it's looking like it will go for its MOT no problem. Let's have a look at the back. So at the back of the car, straight away you can hear that we're going to probably have to replace these little gas struts here for the boot lifter itself. It's quite heavy and it's all creaky in there as well, so maybe uh, lubricate the hinges. At the bottom, the parking sensors don't appear to be working. I would imagine that's something to do with the reverse lights not working as well. So replacing that sensor will probably solve both those problems. I think the only other thing we're going to need to do is get rid of the pot of emulsion that's just been spilt in the back as well. But that should be everything. So there we are, that's just a quick list of a few of the maintenance jobs I need to do to get this back up to standard. Most of the jobs I need to do, I will try and do a little DIY video as well, just so that if you are experiencing the same problems on these cars, you can do it yourself and save yourself a bit of money. But that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.